And good catch. <laughs> those, those are the Spider-Man reflexes. <laughs> <laughs> Today we're exploring Palace de Lou, technically de Lou. Um, <laughs> de Lou? <laughs> but we just walked through the entrance. <laughs> Hi buddy. There's just actual peacocks walking around. <laughs> what are you up to? Hi. So from what I understand, or from what my mother said this morning, this palace used to be a hunting palace. They used to come out here during the summers so that they could go hunting and, and this was like their summer vacation place. So they've got stables and gardens and then the big fat palace. And in like half an hour we get to do the big tour, one of the two tours in the actual palace itself. Which is far away. Which is really far away. It's like there. Yeah. I'm going to walk onto the palace grounds for the first time. That's the door. There's definitely a palace. <laughs> Look at the little gold fountain. Right there. There's a big old globe in the middle there. So the palace has just reopened after what is probably like a decade of renovations. It literally opened on the 15th of April, which is just under a month ago. So up to that point, you could still wander around the gardens, but now they've opened up the interior of the castle for tours and, and walkthroughs and things like that, which we're gonna do. Yeah. So the whole idea is that it shows you how the Dutch royals lived when they actually lived in this palace between the 17th and the 20th century. This probably isn't super common knowledge, but the Netherlands still has a functional monarchy and we were just yes. talking about it. Do you want to say what you just said again about how they're still like a part of the the well, government? The, the, the monarchy is always, the, the royals have always been involved in government so there's layers of government and the royals have a, an active role in that like uh, opening a parliament type of stuff uh, and like they do in the UK as well when a new prime minister gets installed and how to take care of all that. So they have an active role, it's not just uh, uh, making sure that all the ribbons get cut and uh, waving hands and all that yeah. and opening buildings, but they have an act active role in politics and yeah. that's what they're there for. So it is very good. interesting. Okay, we're going to go do this tour now. We're inside the palace now, we're just going to wait for this tour to start. Wow! We got the audio tour working. We got these cute little headphones. How do these? Figured it out with my hair. So many things that were hunted and they're all labeled with the date they were shot and the year. This is super cool. This is the height markings from the queen when she was growing up. These are all dates from 1913, 14, 15, 16, all the way through to 1922. That's cool. That's super cool. <laughs> If I can get to a roof, I'm going to a roof. Oh, so many stairs. Oh, oh, thank you. Come on. I fully ran up those stairs. <laughs> I'm tired now. Oh, there's more. Oh, we made it. Whoa. Whoa. That is a massive flag. <laughs> Okay, back downstairs. That guy was super nice and gave us a whole like explainer of the gardens and all that stuff and was like talking us through all the all the monarchy. Very sweet. Good little good little addition to the rooftop access. That was super cool. In the palace. Very pretty. And also always a fun little history lesson being in palaces like that. This is super cute. They're shooting wedding photos over here. I want wedding photos in a palace. Happy wedding! <laughs> Good luck! Bye bye palace! So in three days, it is currently Saturday, on Monday we leave, 
we're going back home. Today and tomorrow is like the two last family days that we have and tonight we are going out for dinner with the the whole extended family. That's that's kind of the rest of the day. I'm gonna vlog here and there throughout that because I do want to catalog that as much as possible but I don't know when or what it's gonna look like so let's go to dinner. <laughs> This restaurant that we were just at was called Peacocks, which I think is funny that today has both started and ended with a peacock theme. <laughs> Quick disclaimer before I end today's movie. Tomorrow's movie, the day after movie, and the day after that are probably going to come out either late or super late or at weird times um, because tomorrow night I'm out till late so this won't come out till probably two hours late and then the day after that I'm on a plane and then the day after that I'm getting home. I'm going to do my best to maintain schedule as much as possible but this is just a quick disclaimer at the end of today's movie to let you know that if that does happen you've been warned.